Okay, what's up? So I'm gonna show you how to instantly add water in your scene like this. So we're just in a test file, basically just, uh, this is just a rock texture and a sky, nothing special. So if you wanna instantly add water like uh, this, if I just drop this in here and just kind of put it there, um, here is how you do this. And you can see that's, that's what this looks like. So basically what this is, um, I'll show you how to instantly set it up, but there are some nodes you have to do. You can just copy these if you want, but I'll explain what I'm doing here if you're, if you want to know how to actually set this up. So what this is, um, we have, if you've ever tried to set up water, you've probably done like this right here, which is good. So it's just principal shader roughness is turned all the way down and the transmission turned all the way up. And then, um, the only other thing is just a, some sort of noise texture. In this case, it's a musgrave texture. Um, but it's the same, same thing in this case. Uh, so that's running into a bump node, the strength and distance are turned way down. And then that's just running into the normal. So you can just use that and just run it straight out and get like 90% of the results. But, uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. So here's, you can see it didn't really change much from this angle, but as soon as you look at it from the top or any other angle, it's just, even with, um, refractive caustics enabled, it just gets like dark and kind of bad like this. So if you want to get. Uh, a, a cleaner, like more crystal clear type of water like this. Um, the way you set this up is there's three extra nodes, well four, but I'll get to the fourth one in a second. There's three main extra nodes and they are just a transparent shader, a mixed shader, a mixed shader between that regular water and the transparent. And then this light path node, which is the next factor. So basically you just take that, run it into this right here. So just take the regular water, put it into a mix shader. Um, you probably want to run it into the, into the bottom socket, just the way these mix together with the, the, the light path that just, you want to put in the bottom, take the transparent, put it into the other one and it's sort of working. I'll just take the volume out so you can see this a bit more clearly. Um, so it's sort of working here, but now we're getting kind of this might be hard to see here, but kind of a doubling up of the, uh, like refraction because this is refracting it and it's kind of bending it, but then we have transparent, which is just invisible. So it's kind of doubling it up in a weird way. So if you take a light path node and just use the top one, uh, called is camera ray, drop that into the mix factor between those two, that will make it look good. So I'm not, uh, super familiar with how like the, all the light paths and stuff work. So if you want somebody to explain exactly what this node does, um, I'll just link a video to that. You don't really need to know what it does, but if you're curious, I'll just link a video. I, I learned this from Ian Hubert's Patreon. Um, so he explains it a lot better in depth, I think. So if you really want to know, I'd suggest going there. There's lots of good stuff there. I do recommend it, but anyways, you don't really need to know. Just drop that in, take the top one, put it into this mix shader and that's, that's it. And then you can also just take a volume. If you want it to be like murky, uh, like swampy, you could just take a principled volume and just run that into the volume of the same shader. So, um, and this is all on, on a cube, by the way, I should have mentioned that. If I just isolate this, it's just, yeah, basic, uh, stretched out cube. That's all it is. Um, yeah. So then just put a volume in there. You could also use a volume absorption. So if I just put that in here, it's going to have the same effect. It's just going to be less murky. It's just going to be, see how like the deeper the water gets, the darker it gets versus here, it's going to be like the more murky it gets. So volume absorption or principled volume, it's up to you. And then you can make the color, whatever you want. Um, yeah, you get the point. So that's that. Once you have this set up, um, if you just want to get this set up as quickly as possible and you don't care about how it works, here are the nodes, which you can copy, <laughs> just set that up. Uh, if you want, copy that. Um, yeah. So. Once you have that set up onto a cube, just, I recommend just saving that, save the cube to your asset library. Just call it water, right click this, hit mark as asset, and then save the blend file in a location where your asset library will read it. If you don't know how to use the, the, the asset browser here, I'll just link another video to that. But uh, yeah, just save that in here. And then you can see here, anytime you're working on a scene and you want to add just shallow water like this, you just type in water and then I'll just delete this one. Just drag and drop it in like this and boom, you're done. Um, so yeah, here's some examples of where I've used this in my work. 
um, this exact technique of like saving it as a cube in the asset library and then you just drag and drop it in. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.